was appointed as the chief executive officer of uh, what is considered a joint venture between the organizing committee for uh, the LA's Olympic Games 2028 and the US Olympic Committee. Yeah, it's the only type of startup that you absolutely know will be a Fortune 500 company um, by the time we operate the games. You know you're building something, you know that it's going to be a, a massive, massive company, and then you know it's going to go out of business, which is such an unusual type of uh, experience for anyone uh, to have, but, but it will create tremendous opportunity for what I consider to be the next generation of young leaders. When we think back to the history uh, of the Olympic Games, and obviously there is rich, rich tradition of um, humanity coming together and celebrating both diversity but opportunity. When we then think back to 1984, uh, to a large degree, it was sort of this defining moment in the Olympic movement that re-energized the Olympics and sort of set the stage for what actually happened uh, throughout the course of the next 40 plus years. And as we look to 2028, we believe that we've got a similar opportunity, not just to think about it from a brand expression standpoint, but really start to think about what do we do to transform, use this massive event to really celebrate uh, this terrific coming together. I believe it's my role and, and my job is to clear away the brush so that the organization organization can deliver. I personally believe a job description is a, it's a guideline, it's a suggestion, but if you're really, really talented, how you take that and evolve it and make it your own is something that to me will, will be the lasting legacy that we have with, with this event and ultimately with the leaders that I think we produce.